A New Mexico photographer was living in downtown Manhattan that tragic day 12 years ago. Some of the images he captured with his camera are now on display at an Albuquerque gallery. News 13's David Romero is live in the Newsplex with that story. David. Dean Eric O'Connell says displaying the images has been a way for him to work through the tragedy of 9-11. He also hopes it's a way for audiences to do the same. When photographer Eric O'Connell heard that planes had struck the World Trade Center towers, he knew what he had to do. I just thought, oh my God, I gotta grab my cameras and go. O'Connell, a native New Mexican, was living around the corner from the towers at the time. He drew on his journalistic instinct to capture what he could. I realized that it was dangerous. I mean, I had to look up at one time when I heard, you know, shaboom, and that's a body hitting. The images he captured that day are now on display at the Albuquerque Photographer's Gallery in Old Town. O'Connell says he feels it's important to show others what he saw through his camera that day. I didn't recognize until much later when I was looking at the contact sheets, like, oh my God, that's a piece of the, that's the fuselage. The pictures say it all, capturing the shock and devastation immediately following the attacks. One picture, which we cannot show here, shows human remains covering the streets around the towers. I think I looked down and was kind of like, what in, probably used an expletive, is that? And as I bent over and shot it, I probably realized, oh my God, that's, that's, that, that's what it is. It's a finger. I don't know if I can say that. It's, that, it's, a, it's a finger. O'Connell says he's not sure what audiences will take away from that image and the others, but collectively, it's something that will provide a different view of what happened. Taking the pictures almost cost him his life. The rumble was just unbelievable. He was just a couple of blocks away when the first tower collapsed. He ran and found shelter in a nearby building, picking up his camera again when the debris started settling. For me, I documented it. That's what I thought I needed to do. O'Connell has been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder because of what he witnessed that day. He's also part of a group called the World Trade Center Monitoring Program, which checks on the health of people who were near ground zero when the towers fell. Dean, back to you. David, thank you. O'Connell's exhibit will be on display at the Albuquerque Photographer's Gallery in Old Town through the end of the month.